Uh, beautiful blue skies with us taking that live look outside Pine No Shores. The Atlantis Lodge cam this afternoon looking about one to two foot seas. Water temperatures in the mid 70s. Air temperatures up near that 80 degree mark. Beautiful chance to head out on the water here the next couple days if you get the opportunity to. Very light winds across the area this afternoon. We'll eventually start to turn more southwesterly, but that's only going to bring just a slight warmth coming our way and not really a whole lot of humidity. Not a cloud hardly to be seen in the sky. 73, good afternoon, Oriental. Checking in at 79 in Keenansville. After we started, 46, that was the morning low in Keenansville and a lot of the inland spots into the low 50s. Now the positive side is we're going to turn the corner and things won't be as cool tomorrow morning. And the numbers you see forecasted for this afternoon, about average, just where we should be. Sunshine, comfortable temperatures, comfortable humidity levels here. Uh, notice that sunset and sunrise times. Yeah, sun rose this morning within that 7 o'clock hour and it's sunsetting now within the six o'clock hour, like 656 or something of that nature there. There you go, 655, the official sunset time. Like I said, not quite as uh, chilly this tomorrow morning as it was this morning with those temperatures upper 50s and low 60s in store for us here. Really not a whole lot of action going on anywhere across the United States. Do have a front slipping across uh, the northern mid-Atlantic states and you can see a, a low pressure system spinning out here in the desert southwest, but really a lot of dry weather in store for us here with this high pressure dominating our weather that kind of slides to the south and allows that weak front to slip southbound. But because it's wedged in between two highs, it really doesn't have a chance to recover as far as the moisture is concerned. So the front comes through with maybe a few clouds. I guess I could see a spotty shower possible east of 17 on Wednesday afternoon. And then that high continues to press in from the north and continues to keep things on the dry side. And that's also that front going to help keep this well offshore. This is Hurricane Sam category three storm right now. It's down off of its peak and it is going to continue to move off to the northwest. It looks like this is going to be more of an issue for Bermuda than us here in eastern North Carolina by late this week into the weekend, although we will start to see late this week into early next week some of those long period swells and increased rip current threat risks along our coast. Sunshine and seasonable temperatures. That's pretty much what the forecast is going to be here as we head into the Seafood Festival.